Hello everybody, welcome back to another Willis Awesome video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this traditional old English pub. Now if you cross the road, well, actually, let's just take a look from a distance a sec without being in the road. Um, you can see the pub from a distance, it looks quite nice. There's a lot of insignias on the outside. Mine is actually an iron sword. There's also a barrel down here to represent it's a tavern. And it's also got another insignia on either side of the barrel. A lovely fire door just there and then we come to the front entrance where we got a double door sort of spruce door another um, bunch of insignias on that sign and then obviously a lantern to greet us so if we go ahead and open up these doors you can take a look at the interior so the interior is quite well detailed we have a couple kind of seats over on the left side right next to the windows we got our armor stand to represent a coat hanger a dartboard where we have well who's that oh Larry's on four points oh, Bob's on zero what is he doing and then look at Fran. Fran is destroying everyone on 25 points. Man, Fran is good at darts. Then we have the bar over here with today's specials, soup of the day, pie Friday, chip butty week, the mains, the desserts, and the new stuff on the menu. Obviously all the, the actual uh, drinks and stuff. Now if we can st sit on the uh, bar and ask for the bartender to bring us a, you know, a drink. I actually don't drink, so I'm going to ask for a Coca-Cola. The bartender can come back here, serve up the, uh, the drink from these kegs. Uh, there we go. Pass it over the bar. And then obviously the bartender has to be extremely tall um, because, you know, he or she cannot reach over the bar otherwise it's very big. Speaking of bars, these are the people that have actually been barred from my pub. So these people have been naughty, Steve, Creeper, a zombie and a skeleton. Then we have a little fireplace represented over here and then a couple more tables and some clocks above the door frame to finish it off. Let's go ahead and get building. You are going to need a lot of materials. You're going to need some granite, some polished granite. You're also going to need some glass, some stripped dark oak wood. Well, that's so, it's like, I always feel like I need to say more to that. There's like more to it. It's like a wrap. <laughs> dark oak wood, glass pane, spruce door, dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood slab, and a dark oak wood fence. There is some more materials on the front uh, section of the build, but unfortunately I can't carry all of them at this time. So we're going to come back and grab some more later on. So starting with one polished uh, granite like that, we're going to go up by one like that. Then we're going to go along one, two, up again, this one. Then we're going to leave a little space for a door. Where we're going to kind of break into the floor and stick a dark oak wood plank then a spruce door then we're going to go ahead and stick two granite going up alongside the door then we're going to go ahead and leave a two-way gap so one two then another pillar of granite then we're going to leave a two-way gap and another pillar of granite and then you guessed it another pillar with two-way gap for windows so you should have like three double windows in total and then you should have the one over this side now these windows are literally just filled in with glass, so we're going to go ahead put the glass block in these window frames, too high this is guys. Then we can go ahead and take our stripped dark oak wood log, go up dark oak wood even, and we're going to go up by three blocks high, like so. And then we're going to do the same on all of these polished granite pillars. It's quite a tall building this one, I didn't realise until afterwards how tall this building actually was it's because i was planning on building a second sort of floor but then i decided against it i kind of just like these little airing sort of windows up here so now we've done that we can go ahead and take ourselves some dark oak wood and we're going to go ahead put these over the windows and the door as well and in this space over here we could go ahead and put a glass block just in there and then you can switch around the way the wood is like so now we're going to take our glass pane and stick one there, one there, one there, two there, and two there. Another dark oak wood piece just in there to fill over the door frame. This is where we're actually going to hang the barrel later on. So we can go ahead and grab our fence and bring this out by two blocks, like so. And then the barrel is just going to hang just up there on uh, under the underneath of this fence. So the next thing we can do is take our stripped dark oak wood and we can go all the way along with this building up over these window frames making sure the entire build is filled over with our dark oak wood awesome now we can go ahead and hopefully there's going to be enough space have i built this in oh lucky i think there's going to be enough space fly, fly me i almost messed up already um so we're going to go ahead and build kind of this wall over here which is actually 12 blocks long so polished granite first of all obviously we've got these two pillars to start on so that's one block two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect in line then we're going to go ahead and grab our strip dark oak wood and we're just going to build this straight up now you may have to just kind of place one at a time so you can build the pillar going straight up instead of the wood going to the left or right you want it to go vertically instead of horizontally so 
take your time with it. There is no rush. I mean, if you guys like the uh, horizontal way, you could totally do that as your choice at the end of the day. I kind of like mine to be like this, but I think I've got a little bit of an OCD with the wood in Minecraft for that. So here we go. Nice one. Got to the end now. Cool. Now we can go ahead and go 12 long on the back. That's not the entire length, but we're going to go uh, 12 for now. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we're going to go ahead and leave a 3 by the three gap for the um, chimney just over there you see it's quite a big chimney is that four let me just double check no it is three. Oh, my count was right today that's good normally i mess up so that's good okay so three block gap we're going to leave out and that is where the fireplace is going to go kind of in this gap just here then we're going to go along by another three then we're going to turn in and we're going to go along by eight so two three four five six seven eight Awesome, we've got a big space to play with here now, which is really good. So on the back of the build, we can literally just go along again with our strips of dark oak wood. And we're going to get in the boring bit out of the way. The walls, obviously, are literally just the same on the back and the uh, the kind of sides, uh, the right side even. So we just want to get the boring bit out of the way so we can go ahead and mess about with the furniture and all the fun stuff of this tutorial. And go ahead and do these three over here as well. All the way up to this point over here. I think this is about eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was saying that my counting is getting better, but it's not. It's not. That's five blocks, guys. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so here, what we're going to do this side is we need to actually build some windows in here as well. So we're going to leave this one out. We're going to build this granite out by two. We're going to go ahead and put two glass panes, glass blocks in this gap even. Then we're going to leave a block gap and obviously build this pillar up by two. Then we're going to stick the three glass blocks along. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak and bring this up to the ceiling. So three, like so. Here we can knock this one through and we can also knock this one through as well. Now on this side, what I did, instead of using the uh, the dark oak wood, I actually used planks. So it kind of depends on your guys' preference, what you like. Maybe this would look better with the dark oak wood for the building and then the planks on the interior like that. See what you, you prefer, guys. I kind of like the uh, the dark oak wood above the window, so I'm going to keep it like that. So, like that. And then another three just there. One block up with our granite, and then I'll see these two up like that. And then we're going to go another one, and another one. Glass panes above. And then fill it over with your wood. Obviously, if you wanted to do the same kind of pattern like I've done, there we go. You're going to have to do it like that. Awesome. What I just uh, did was I actually just replaced my glass pane with a lantern. So we can go ahead and complete the section at the front straight away. And obviously we're going to need to add some item frames and some swords or whatever your insignia is going to be for your pub as well. So we're going to go ahead and grab our strip dark oak wood. And we're going to go straight up with our uh, dark oak, strip dark oak wood even by five. So that's three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go ahead and connect these pillars just with one block in the middle, knocking off either blocks on the side you had to place to uh, get that block there. We're going to go ahead and put glass, a uh, glass block above the block and below the block like that. We're going to come to the interior and we're going to go ahead and place just a block there, a block there, a block there, a block there. Well, actually, if you wanted to whilst you're here, you can go ahead and fill this entire section in with dark oak planks. And that will get the boring bit out of the way as well. All right then, so now this section is planked up. Hopefully you guys left this bare, but if you did get a bit carried away and you filled that section in, that six block shape, do not worry, we're gonna be putting the chimney over the top of that bit. Anyway, let's get on with building the rest of the front. Um, so here, what we need to do is we're gonna need to bring the glass one block more down. Whoops, that's not glass. One block down like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and build our stripped dark oak on there. Then we're gonna bring this glass down just there. So you should have this sort of shape here now and leaving a two block gap between the glass and the floor. That was kind of just a marker. So we made sure we kept to this roof sort of design. Um, but I just started with the flooring instead. So that was kind of helpful. Um, so over here, we're going to add ourselves some spruce doors or a door of your choice. I like the spruce one because it looks pretty fancy and it looks pretty old fashioned uh, at the same time, which is pretty cool. So you could add this block in. It's not exactly necessary. You could change this one up to being... Um, stone for example for the pathway um, whatever your guys preference is feel free to do so so now we've got that design going for us we can go ahead and put a plank there a plank there a plank there and a plank there 
Then we can take, uh, take our slabs even and stick two underneath these planks over here and then two on top of the planks as well. Awesome. Then we can take our planks for one last time and go across the top with these three blocks over here. And now that section is pretty much done with uh, with actual building. So go, going back to the front, we can go and put a fence just in there. Then we can take a lantern and just kind of dangle it from that fence panel um, just there. That fence, fence post even. <laughs> fence panel. It's a, bit, it's a bit too small for a fence, fence panel. I cannot speak. <laughs> so before we crack on again, we're just going to quickly wipe our inventory. We'll go ahead and grab the, some of this stuff back later on. We're going to go ahead and find ourselves an item frame. And whichever insignia you guys want as your choice, I'm going to use a stone, uh, an iron sword even. Again, so I'm going to stick an item frame just there. A sword just here. Twist it round to face up to the sky. Another one just here. And this one already is facing up to the sky. Cool. And then over here, what we need to do next is just grab ourselves a barrel as well. Barrels are found near the bottom on Bedrock Edition. There they are with all the kind of tools and stuff. We can go ahead and place this barrel just here. Making sure this little kind of uh, nozzle for the barrel, the kind of cap of the barrel, is facing this way. Making sure that that is facing that way. It looks cool. Then we can take our sword and we can literally just go ahead and place the sword facing the pub. Like that. And again this side. Oops, you might have to shift to click this one. Like so. Awesome source. That is looking great. I don't know why I say awesome source. It just makes me sound like an idiot. <laughs> there we go, guys. So I've gone and wiped my entire inventory again to grab some new materials for this campfire fireplace we're going to go and build. So you're going to need some brick slab. You're also going to need a brick block, brick stairs, campfire, iron bars, item frame, and an iron hoe. Now, I did grab a water bucket because wheel assassin and fire is really not a good combo. So just in case, it is there. So... Let's go ahead and build this fireplace. So we're going to need to place two iron, uh, two iron blocks, no, two bricks like that, uh, pillars like this, another one just this side. Then we're going to go back in the build, and we're going to place up to three like that, and then three again. Then we're going to place a stair going that way, a stair going that way, and then we're going to fill this over and place a block just there. Now we've done that, we can actually build this up, and this goes straight up to the roof. And then we can go into the actual build, place a brick behind this plank, campfire on there, iron bars like that. To the right of the iron bars, we're going to stick an item frame with a hoe standing straight up. Now this design, it looks very similar to a guy called McCreeper Gaming. The dude is a legend, he builds some really awesome tutorials, so I want to give him a quick shout out and definitely go and check out his channel in the link in the description below, that'd be really awesome. Okay, so we need to break this brick block now so we can let the smoke kind of exit the building so we're going to go ahead and build three like that and these three are going to go ahead and go up by seven blocks high so two three four five six seven this one is almost up to seven so build these up to seven as well and then finish off the build up to seven blocks high as well now we've done that we can actually go ahead and just fill over this section so kind of the chimney it goes up in a weird shape like that, but it's okay because you don't really see much of it inside the pub itself. If we go through the door, you can see what I mean. Um, the pub is actually kind of blocked off. You don't really see much of it because there's actually this pillar goes through it. So we're going to need to chop that through in a minute. But, you know, unless uh, unless you actually build this, you won't know that. So shh, don't tell anybody. Our next section okay. is the roof. We need to go ahead and take some dark oak wood stairs and some dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place upside down stairs along the front and along the side so we can actually hold up the front section of the overhanging roof. So one stone stair like, uh, oh my gosh, one uh, dark oak stair just there, upside down, another one just a block away, then we're going to leave a block gap again, then we're going to leave a two block gap, a two block gap, and a two block gap like that. So you should have all in all about six stairs on the front like so. Then we can go around the side and basically do the same design but only on the pillars, so one there, one there, and one there, so only three on this side. Then we can take our slabs and we can literally go along the building and then start to overhang it on the actual stairs so at the front you need to kind of edge in like this only edge over the build by one block build this along to this point and then we can go ahead and feed this back round into the actual building and this is kind of the reason it doesn't overhang the whole way around is just in case you wanted to build uh say a shop right next door you know and the roof kind of almost hit it you know when you have that problem with overhanging roofs you just kind of have someone's roof sticking through your window, which is not cool. So we definitely need to tone down the roofing a little bit. 
So here what we're going to do next is we're going to take our stone stairs, our oh, dark oak stairs. I keep getting confused. My bad, guys. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and put these stairs behind this lab. So they kind of blend in a little bit. They've kind of lip up a tiny little section from the build. So all the way around, zigzagging around that corner, straight along, straight around this corner, straight around this corner, connect up to the chimney. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Oh my gosh, these stairs do not like me. Connect up to the chimney. There we go. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and take our slabs and fill over this entire roof. Now you'll notice on the inside of this thing, it is not actually this tall on the inside. The roof is quite short and that is because of these beams that go along as we saw with the fireplace. The beams kind of stop the chimney a little bit as well which is good. Um, so it doesn't look like it's very very huge. We want it to kind of feel a bit cosy. This is almost to represent an, like the old fashioned sort of roofing where they didn't have like massive cranes that could lift up the wooden beams. You know it's all on ladders and uh, like wooden ladders at that as well so they had to be really careful. So coming into the interior of the build, what we're going to do is grab some stripped dark oak wood and some stripped, um, no, some normal dark oak wood, sorry. And we're going to go four blocks up from the exterior wall. And on the fifth one, just below the slab, is we're going to build the entire wall and the entire section of the roof filled in with this dark oak wood. We're going to go all the way along, making sure this entire section is filled up so you can't see the slabs above it. Feel free to cut through the chimney as well. So there we have it. Now we have the entire roof filled up. It is a little bit darker in here now as well because the windows are kind of not being able to let light in from above the uh, the slabs as well for some reason because Minecraft has a glitch with that at the moment. Um, only light in here is the fireplace which looks great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over this side. We're going to take ourselves a stripped dark oak wood log. We're going to go along from this point here by five. So two, one, two, three, four, five. Then leave a one by one gap and go five, then two by five, then two by five. And now here what we're going to do is on the sixth one back from the window, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go by about mm, ten blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so. Then we can go ahead and put a beam going down this way. And this is kind of where the bar is going to go. So no beams across this bit because we need a big shelf at the back here for the bar. So now over here what we can do is we're going to leave a two block gap for this bit. So we're going to go ahead and add the pillar in over here. This pillar is a little bit awkward because it is in the chimney. So over here and go ahead and stretch it to the wall. And then here we're going to go ahead and add one on this window. So you're leaving a one by one gap between the wall and the next pillar as well. Cool beans. So we can actually go ahead now and uh, fill in the actual section with some lights and lanterns and furniture and all that crazy stuff that we've been wanting to do for a while. Let's go ahead and do that. Now. Almost forgot one little tip before we move on, guys, is if you want to change up these two blocks of uh, bricks with your stripped dark oak wood, it would look pretty good on the interior as well. Just kind of ties up the chimney a little bit so that only from the outside can you see the actual stone. So it kind of uh, blends in a little bit. It looks really cool for the interior as well. Right, let's crack on with the furniture. Bar kind of shelving area goes back by about eight blocks. So you're going along the back wall by about eight blocks. We're going to need to grab ourselves some strip, uh, some spruce wood stairs. I've been saying strip too much, so it's just stuck in my head. Um, brewing stands, some spruce wood planks, a barrel or two or three or how many, however many you want. Trip by hook, flower pot, um, some potions for representing drinks and item frames to put the potions in. So let's go ahead and build this little place over here. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take our spruce wood planks and we're going to stretch this up straight to the ceiling. And we're going to do the same just a block away. Then we're going to go ahead and put a stair like that. We're going to leave a gap and put an upside down stair like that. We're going to take a flower pot and just stick this in to represent a glass or cup or a little tankard say for some, some visitors. Then we're going to go ahead, stick an upside down stair and make another little shelf with a with flower pot on there as well. Then we're going to take our stairs and we're going to go along by three, upside down. Then we're going to go ahead and put two blocks just here. Then we're going to drop down and put two barrels. Drop down and put two planks, two barrels, and then two planks just again. Then we're going to go ahead and put three lots of uh, upside down stairs like that. Almost forgot what they were called. And then some normal facing stairs just a block away. Brewing stands on these ones. 
and then up here is where we're going to display some drinks. So whatever potions you like, I'm going to use the same one twice, there we go. Uh, it just looks a little bit cool if they're potions because they all glimmer and shine up there as well. Tripwire hooks on these barrels to represent little kind of kegs and then there we have it that shelving unit is done let's go ahead and build the so bar. now then guys for the spa section we're going to need some spruce wood slab some spruce wood stairs dark oak trap door barrels item frame uh potions of whatever choice you want a spruce sign spruce trap door and spruce fence what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go ahead and stretch the bar back from this little shelving unit with stairs by four blocks so one two three four then we're going to go ahead and go to here and we're going to twist the stairs just around the corner like that. And this is going to go all the way just a block away from the wall, like so. And here on this wall, we're going to stick ourselves a dark oak trap door. It could be either a spruce or dark oak trap door. I kind of prefer the spruce one, but dark oak seems to kind of stand out a little bit more. So whichever your choice is, guys, really. Then we're going to take our slabs and go all the way along the bar section, filling over this bar with our slabs. So you should be left with two block gap on the back of the build. So the little waiter... Uh, the bartender can stand over, kind of peek over the top like a little mole. <laughs> it looks quite funny. Um, so over here, what we're going to do, take our spruce fence and we're going to put one just here and one on the end just here. We're going to go around the corner, leave a block gap and we're going to place one there, one there and one there. A block gap away from each other. You could even space this out a little bit more. So pl place one there, place one there, place one there. So there's a two block gap at the end of the bar. That kind of looks better in my opinion. There's a little bit more space. Um, but then again... You could only just have the two, so let's go ahead and put two in. Because over here we're going to add some more kegs. So this section over here, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and build some blocks with our spruce planks, uh, spruce slabs even. So obviously some blocks here, four blocks in total like that. And then what we're going to do here is as it goes into the bar, we're going to go ahead and put a stair facing the right way like that. Then some barrels up here. There we go. And then obviously we're going to grab ourselves, now we've used the barrels, a tripwire hook, and place these on the barrels. Then we're going to take ourselves a dark oak trapdoor and stick these on top of the barrels just to add a little bit more detail. And then on the front, we're going to stick some item frames for some drinks. There we go. Now we can take our signs and stick signs all on all four of these boxes, um, these uh, planks for representing the menu, say. So specials over this way. Uh, mains, desserts, and of course the new stuff. So, of course you want to do that now. I'm not going to type it all because it'll take a while and you guys may not want to see me type in every single word. So, four signs along there. Pretty awesome. Spruce trap door on all of these fences like so. Then we're going to come behind and shift click on the back of them to face the uh, trap doors going up the back for little backboards like that. So now you can actually sit at a bar and ask for a drink which is pretty cool so over here we need to place four item frames on the wall and then a sign that says bard on the second line down just besides the uh, just besides the item frames and now you can go ahead and grab some heads of your choice for this one I might grab myself um, of course another Steve head because it can represent many people uh, with a skeleton skull even an ender dragon skull why not and a creeper so four skulls in total Steve up there Ender Dragon down there, he's been naughty. Uh, Creeper, and with a skeleton skull in there. So all these people are actually banned from my, uh, my pub, so that's pretty good. Alright, now we've finished the bar, let's go ahead and add some more seats. The uh, armor stand representing the, um, uh, what's it called, the coat hanger and the dartboard over here. And we need some lights in here as well, let's go ahead and grab some lights. So this is not all the materials for the interior, but this most of them. So we're going to need some brown carpet, some armor stands, some lanterns, some jungle trap doors, spruce sign, paintings, some stripped dark oak wood. Now this is not actually, um, you know, it's not really a, a material you're going to need as such, um, but we are going to need to break some blocks to put paintings on them. So I just grabbed that just in case. Some spruce wood stairs and a spruce pressure plate. We're also going to need some spruce fence as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get on with this interior. So over here, one spruce sign with a scoreboard on, so you can write scoreboard. Um, let's just pretend that these ones haven't, ha haven't actually been used um, just yet so the scores there's no scores on the boards so let's go ahead and put another scoreboard sign over here just leaving a block gap between each one then we can go ahead and put a jungle trap door with a handle facing up or down really your choice in the middle for the dartboard up there then we can go ahead and block out one block for a painting of your choice in there I'm going to use a shell looking one where is the shell looking one it's it's it's, 
it's around here somewhere. Oh, the, there. Oh, man, it was there. It was right there. Right, that'll do. A little desert, that'll do. Okay, then we're going to go and leave a block gap, and we're going to stick a double painting across here of the ocean. Perfect. Then we're going to leave another one by one gap and stick another one by one painting in there too. If it's the same one, it doesn't matter too much. You can pretend that maybe the same artist has made duplicates and uh, he's decided to put them in the pub. Cool beans. So to replicate the uh, the lighting of the olden times, we're going to use lanterns. A one there, one there, leaving a two block gap, leaving a two block gap, one there and one there on each of the pillars, and then one right back here in the, uh, in the gap back there. Or you could even bring it forward a block just to kind of go in front of the seat. That looks a little bit better. Now there's lanterns all the way along these pillars as well on the front. Awesome. Then we're going to take ourselves our armor stand and stick a little kind of coat rack over here. So one on this kind of polished andesite block. Then we're going to go around the corner and stick just another one in here. You may have to break the lantern because sometimes they don't like to place when the lanterns are above it. So kind of going around like that and making sure you have one on each side so it kind of goes around like that. So that's four in total. Cool, that looks really cool. Then we can go ahead and put that lantern back as well now. So now we're here, we're going to grab ourselves, we're going to switch up the lantern for a spruce fence, and we're going to use this for the tables. So the tables literally just go for kind of along the windows. So there's one just down here, just there, one there, a seat there, and a seat just there. Fence in between, trap doors on top, like so. There's actually a two way gap between the kind of armor stand down here so if you wanted to move the tables just shift in a longer block it's really your decision you don't have to copy me uh, in this design but if you wanted to like base it off something then yeah feel free so over here as well what i just missed is there is a brown carpet this is just a block away from the armor stands and it's two blocks away from the main wall this just goes like this in this little pattern over here it's a three by three shape just like that um, you can also build it just one more block up if you wanted to build it like a 3x4. Again, it's your choice. Mine likes to kind of match in with the bar design up there as well, so that looks pretty cool. So over here, we can do a similar thing, but in front of the fireplace. So only three blocks by about four again. Cool. And then we can go ahead and put on our tables. So right in the back of the wall, leaving a block gap, and then just next to the door frame. Awesome. Whoops. There we go. And then the last finishing touches are literally just the clocks. So we're going to go ahead and grab our item frame again. Phew. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and grab a clock. Probably would have been easier if I grabbed the item frame moment from my inventory um, instead of breaking that thing. But never mind. It's cool. So you guys might have better luck than I am at finding clocks. There they are. Take me ages to find. There we go. And we're going to stick some clocks just up here like that. Wicked. I have been Wheel Assassin, guys. Thank you so much for watching this Wheel Assassin tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you found it really helpful, please definitely smash a big like. That'd be awesome. If you want to stick around for more tutorials in the future, please definitely consider subscribing. That almost came out so wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an excellent day. See you all in the next Wheel Assassin video coming very, very soon. Peace out.